but uh, I, I will leave the microphone for you. Now the question is, do you have any questions, comments to the speakers? Please. You're welcome. Yes. Um, um, we have an example of Ukraine and ID card, or actually citizen card, but there's no photo. But if I can rotate it around, then it will be All right. more understandable what you mean by ID card. Okay. Photo is missing, but still. It's not money on the card? <laughs> uh, you take you the can, chance? You can always try it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But uh, maybe uh, you have a comment to uh, each other. Okay. You agree about everything? Did you agree about everything, Lars Peder? I think that what's important here is that there are a lot of possibilities. We have to find out how to do things together, and there are some. Oh, sorry, there are some, some, uh, some. Uh, uh, for me, as a as a managing director or a director general of a government agency, there are some some rules we have to follow. Yes, and, and, and I, want to, I want to underline that, uh, that uh, we need uh, uh, predefined uh, agreements, we need, uh, we need uh, financing systems, I have to work together with all these things, and we have to find out what is the, 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 the fruit that we can take down first, because I, think, I don't think we can do everything we have been talking about here, here this, 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 in this seminar. Uh, I think you have to find out where can we uh, get the fast results to do, and, and that's, that's the, the, the first thing we have to find out. Yes, if I, can add. I would also like to add that Ukraine has investigated so many different opportunities, technologies and so on, so it's not about inventing the bike, we already understand wh how the bike works, it's about really making it happen, so it's kind of time to implement it low-hanging, I agree, to implement it fast and to scale it up. So it's not so much about spending next years on researching. Uh, it's kind of fast implementation, fast results. You have the experience also showing the fast results, so it's nine, time to make it happen. This bank ID uh, solution, bank ID in Ukraine, and, and, and there was a government decision on working uh, further with, with this uh, solution. That was very interesting. How did you manage to go <laughs> to come so far? I mean, it is only two months ago since I, I heard that you were working on, on this uh, issue. As Yannika told that uh, some projects on the city level much easier to push than the government level. Uh, on government level, the situation changed, and right now, as you saw, that the date was 30 of September. So this uh, happens right now. So the National Bank of Ukraine, like uh, a regulator of financial market, they can uh, um, give the signal to every bank in uh, Ukraine what to do. Because, uh, as you saw previously, there was Bank ID and Oshad Bank ID. This is different banks. They are commercial and they have different aims in uh, their businesses. So now uh, I think uh, that uh, National Bank of Ukraine can force this project very fast, and I think that they can, uh, that Norway Bank ID can share experience with the National Bank, and our National Bank, I'm in communication with them, they are open for, for new ideas. No, we can't, because it's the audience now. Just a moment. Is there any questions from uh, the audience? Or comments, please feel free. Yeah, we were talking about digital services and like uh, making a digital happen in Ukraine. But don't you think that I mean it's all perspective of having a good system, a good data? Because uh, I mean I think it was your presentation, uh, Oleg. I think your name is that you had like eight million potential users for Bank ID, and uh, so what? Basically, my question is. Don't you think that Ukraine is actually ready for this innovation, for this digital, digitalized market or services, to say so? But it has to be started not from the lower level like you are starting, but it has to start from the top level. And first priority is reforms. Only then you can implement successfully. 
So who can answer this? I don't know. I have the mic, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I wanted, actually, it is very important to say that the innovation wasn't by government. It was by private sector. The bank ID was launched by private bank. Then the government bank joined and said, we have to regulate it somehow. Let's make it happen, which is important that private sector really pushed the government. Yes, it's ready, but um, it actually, you have to show the results to make it happen in government level in Ukraine, which means if the government doesn't have enough will and there is a problem with certain fast implementation, if we have good user cases, we can make it at a national level. Yes, please. I, th I think it's very important to have the private initiative. But, but in my view, or as an example, when, we, when Altin was established, it was a cooperation between three public agencies. It was the tax authorities, it was the Bureau of Statistics, and it was the Brunsi Register Center. And, and, and I think it, it was established to, to reduce cost. Every agency was working with different solutions. Then we, 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 we used over, mo over money together and, and, and built this infrastructure. But today I think it's possible for, for to, to develop cooperation between public uh, governmental ag agencies as for example Brunson Registerne and private sector to develop good, good solutions. What's important in my view that and I don't know this, the answer in Ukraine is that you need to have good registers in the bottom, the d data. Of, 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 and in Norway there are three basic registers that we, we are, well, that's necessary. That's the register of people, the people's register. It's the register of all companies in the country, uh, all private com and com both uh, voluntary and, and, and uh, commercial companies. And at last, uh, the land register, and they have the, all the the, uh, the the people or the the, the companies or the, the 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 land the land has their unique identity. That's necessary. So so if if it's possible in Ukraine, then it's possible. But if you have these registers in Ukraine, it's possible to start to building a system like like Altin. Thank you, Lars Peder. Leave the microphone on the table, please. We have another question from the audience. Thank you. Uh, actually, it's uh, just a comment uh, from me. First of all, as a uh, citizen of uh, Lviv, uh, which is, uh, by the way, one of the biggest uh, cities in Ukraine located on the west border. And uh, this uh, mobile and bank ID services, which are wor working currently right now, uh, enables a, a thousands of people uh, in Lviv uh, today to use electronic services of uh, Lviv City Council. Actually, I'm being responsible for these processes in Lviv City Council and I can share some uh, statistics. Uh, last year we uh, received 2,000 uh, of uh, electronic appeals. Uh, every month we receive uh, requests, hundreds of requests for electronic uh, uh, services. Uh, so I'm very uh, grateful to Oshad Bank, who is a government-owned bank. It's like owned government, but partly it's private. And another uh, private bank uh, who was pushing this innovation to the government. Thank you. All right, thank you. The last question or comment here. Yeah. Hello, uh, I'm Andriy Romanenko. I'm advisor to the Minister of Economics of Ukraine and, uh, in the government. So uh, that's interesting enough, but I learned some, some initiatives about some initiatives uh, in Ukraine which related to e-governance, which I never heard about. That's really interesting, but that reflects the situation in Ukraine. That's coordination. So that's the biggest challenge i ever ever seen. Uh, well, the question will be the simple. Uh, Altin and more, they represent the commercial sector. How you manage to get a good coordination and the good governance to deliver the value based on the commercial structure to the whole country? So, so we can, how we were to... It's coordinating how the commercial actor will work together with government. Yeah. We could work together with Altin, of course. We will use, uh, we often use ICT Norway uh, in our meetings. We work with them a lot. We have had meetings with uh, your 
with um, Geir Jakobsen, the deputy, regarding this. And we, of course, talk about how Brønnøysund Register can con contribute in this with their knowledge and with their experience. And they are working a lot with how to develop Norwegian, um, Norwegian commercial actors as well and want to provide information and want to provide uh, with the competence and, and advisory all the way in such projects. They are, have been clear on that with us. Yeah, I, I think he has explained how to do it. I, in my presentation, I, I underlined that we don't sell a solution or an IT system. We can give advice how to do these things in, for example, in Ukraine or other countries. But we want to work with either private company go, or governmental bodies or academia. We, for us, it's important to, 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 to serve, support Norwegian IT industry. But okay, thank we, you. Uh, we can give good, good advices. This is a very interesting discussion, but uh, they have started to ask us if, if we're going to join the rest of the conference. Uh, so <laughs> but, Jan Morten, do you have a, Hege, do you have a final word? Yeah, uh, there is, I um, uh, I'm from Bank ID Norway. There is uh, one uh, thing that you can uh, beat us on in uh, Ukraine, and that is e-voting. We haven't done that yet. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs>